Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video, I am going to set up a node in under 10 minutes. Now, it's not a race, but I just want to show people just how easy it is to get a node running. So I am starting out on a fresh Ubuntu 22.04, and the first thing we're going to do is get our system upgraded. So this is a fresh install. I've got, uh, looks like 12 packages that need to get upgraded. It shouldn't take too long, but we're, we're starting from scratch here and we're gonna go all the way to the point where we start our node. Now it's not gonna be connected to any post data at this point. I do have post data that I'm gonna set up, but I'll do that in the next video because uh, it's a little bit complicated how I have it set up. I'm starting to use shared drives now, or not shared drives, but uh, network drives. Uh, through like Samba. So, all right, this is good to go. The next thing we're going to do is set a time zone. I'm just going to do this time zone. And then we're going to install some dependencies. Now, I have a few extra dependencies in here. The ones you really need are onzip, tmux, libpo, cl2, and I would say iotop if you want to watch your disk speed when you are doing uh, the poet windows and you want to see like how fast your disk is working i'm writing a script right now that'll monitor that for you just so you can see where you are in the process but iotop's pretty good to have around now some of the other ones i'm installing are python uh, ven ven and or virtual environment venv um, Python 3 dev and Python 3 pip so I can install some of those Python scripts that I was kind of telling you about earlier. All right, we've got the dependencies installed. Let's get Go installed. So I'm going to download Go. I have that URL saved just with wget. We're going to extract that. We are going to remove any possible chance there's a previous version of Go we are going to change the ownership of the folder we just extracted from the downloaded file. We're gonna move that to our install directory. Then we're going to update our environmental variables. So we're just gonna to go to the bottom here and we're gonna add these paths. And that's gonna allow us to uh, basically use just the keyword go here. So let's actually use source to update our paths here, our environmental variables, and now we can do go version. And that actually comes back with something. So let's install grp curl. And this will finish up the go installation. So as you can see, super easy to get go installed. Now, what we're really here for, go space mesh, we'll get that installed next. And what I'm doing in my new node installations is I have the SQL files stored in a Samba share. So I'm even going to be doing some extra steps that I'll tell you when you don't need to follow them. But uh, I'll do a video later on how to like set up a Samba share if you want to host your, uh, oops, wrong key here. If you want to host your SQL files so you don't have to re sync all the way from Genesis. This basically cuts down the syncing time by hours. So you're ready to go almost immediately. So we're going to make our go space mesh directory and then change directories into it. We are going to copy. Actually, let me just make sure there's not a more recent version. I think I saw something online. So we're getting bonus material here slowing me down. Yes, there is a version 1.1.3. I'm going to go with the new version. Um, I know sometimes it's a little, I'm more scared going with the SMAP newest versions than I am uh, Go Space Mesh. So either way, we're going to try the new one. We're going to unzip that. I just do a little bit of cleanup. It, if I look, it installs it into this Linux directory. I'm just going to move everything out so it's all in the main directory here, and then I delete that folder and the zip file since I don't need it anymore. We will get the config file. We don't need to do anything with that. By default, it's going to work just fine. 
we're going to create two folders, our SM data where the SQL file is going to go and our logs where the logs are going to go. And this is where you can stop following specifically because I'm going to set up my Samba share. So I'm making a media slash shared folder. I'm going to be then creating a credentials file, which I need to uh, I need to get my credentials, so give me a second here. All right. So basically, like I said, I'm, I'm using these shares and I'm even using these share drives for my plotting on my plotters. So it's, it's something that's actually really useful to have and it's really easy to set up in Linux. So we'll get to that. Um, you're probably seeing my secret stuff notepad here. I just don't want you to see my credentials. Not that they're really all that exciting anyways. I have to copy it from one of my other machines here. It's just a username and password uh, for these. And, and honestly, it's all internal, so... There's really nothing you can do with it. It's a random password. But anyways, uh, okay, so we've got the credentials set up and now we just need to, you still don't have to follow this because this is just for my Samba share. Uh, I'm just creating a mount setting for this in FS tab, our file system tab, and then we will mount. So let's just hope that it actually mounts, successfully mounted. All right, and then I'm basically going to just copy my uh, SQL files, the database for the syncing to my SM data folder, and that's going to remove the need to sync for all the way from Genesis, as I had mentioned earlier. And then we're going to jump into Tmux because we're going to start running our node, and we are going to just get going, Control B, and then Shift quotation mark to get a second horizontal window here and watching our logs. Now let's increase this up a little bit here. So we are good to go at this point. We have our node running. It's that simple on Ubuntu. We're only at seven and a half minutes and I set up a shared drive and I had to go look up my username and password for that shared drive, which took a little while longer. Uh, I highly recommend using Ubuntu if you're gonna be running a node. I'll have another video here shortly where I actually hook up my post data to this. It's about a quarter of the time that it takes to actually set up the node. It's super quick to get your data connected. So we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.